as this guy gets going, he's like a locomotive train. Starting out chugging real slow, turn, turn, turn. Then when he gets a full head of steam, he's going to bring it to you. Third and six. Jerry Ellison has come into the game. He's split out to the right side as a wide receiver. Holding on the line again. Still for under some pressure. Quick drop off. It's complete, but it's going to be short of the first down. Kurt Govea in on the stop. Red out of the backfield. Just comes up a couple of yards short. We'll take another look at it from an end zone shot. I'll tell you, Kurt Govea does a nice job here. So we have our two-minute warning. Opening day for the 1995 NFL season. Tampa Bay with the early lead. The veteran Reggie Roby on the punt on fourth and two. He said two beauties so far. Been in the league a long time. He's been down in Miami for years. This guy can boom him. He's always kicking him over 50 yards. 258 pounds. Where's a wrist rock watch out there? Why he's punt? What do you think he's looking for? I think he's looking to see if it's dinner time or not, huh? <laughs> 34 year old, an unrestricted free agent. <laughs> Kelton Martin is back to receive. Although well, Weiss likes to try some wild things, even on punts. I don't know if Roby's the one to do it. This one not as high, but another solid punt. And Philadelphia is going to get the ball back at about their 15. I want to remind you, coming up next Sunday, join host Sybil Shepard and Seinfeld's Jason Alexander, along with the likes of Heather Locklear, Jerry Seinfeld, George Clooney. Cam Nothing can be more exciting for a company than to be complimented for the work they do and the new and innovative ideas they implement. WMDT, as the most imitated television station on the Delmarva Peninsula, accepts the fact that we've progressed into new areas of news and have led the way for others to copy and follow our lead. At WMDT, we'll continue to work hard to bring our viewers new and innovative ideas, and we thank everyone for the compliment. And we accept the position as the leader on Delmarva. You don't think it could have been us. <laughs> Cunningham to throw on first. Deflected, intended for Ricky Waters. Added down by Santana Dotson, and that's what they want out of this guy. They want this guy to come in and have the fast rushing abilities he showed as a rookie. He came in as a rookie and had a bunch of sacks, but then he now he's backing up his second team. He's in the Alder Nation right now. Had 10 sacks his rookie year, was NFC Rookie of the Year, but has really, in the past two years, he's taken step backwards. He's looking, showing good right there. Second of 10. Ball again, back at their own 14. Roby's done a good job making Philly start deep every time. Eric Murray with big pressure, but he gets it off to Waters. And Waters falls down. A flag on the play, however. Cunningham did a great job just getting rid of that football. He sure did. Eric Curry ducked underneath the block. And they also have a penalty. I think it's going to be holding on Guy McIntyre in the screen. Here's Eric Curry. And there you go. We'll take a look at Eric Curry here in a second. Watch him duck underneath and apply the pressure to Cunningham. Here he is right here. He's going to come right underneath the block as they're trying to set up a screen and be all over Randall Cunningham. Holding offense, number 62. Half the distance to the goal line. Repeat second down. Waters couldn't block him because he knew he had to get out of here out there to catch the pass and Curry had a free shot. Hey, as a defensive lineman, anytime you get a free shot at a quarterback, you take it. You mentioned that stat about Philadelphia. That's something Ray Rhodes has really worked on. But it's hard, especially when you have all the changes he's had in the offensive line during the course of the preseason. That's right. You get a feel for how you work as a unit. Offensive line, it's real important to have continuity. Second and 17 after the holding penalty. Eddie West in motion. Quick drop, Cunningham under pressure. Completes a West to tight end. And he gets across to about the 13-yard line. Thomas Everett in on the stop. And I want to remind you, coming up at halftime, J.B., Terry, Howie, and Jimmy will have all the scores and highlights of the Dockers' halftime report, plus their predictions on who's going to stumble and who will soar early in the season. So get ready. Coming up, the Dockers' halftime report. Back close to the original line of scrimmage for the Eagles, but a third and 11. 
Randall did a nice job just getting that ball off. He had people high, hovering around his feet trying to pull him down. Tampa Bay last in the NFL in sacks last year, starting to put on some good pressure. Cunningham under fire again. Complete. Kelvin Martin, the reception of the first down. 18-yard pickup. Nice, nice job watching, holding on to the ball, being patient by Randall Cunningham. He waits until he finds a receiver open. Cunningham's been very sharp, though. Kelvin Martin, watch. He sees his own right here. He splits it. He turns it inside underneath. And splits. doesn't come into the linebacker where the safety's going to be. Finds a way to get open. Excellent job. He wants people to know about it. Dude, look at him banging his chest. Line does a good job here protecting him. Eric Curry takes a swat at him. He just steps up to the pocket. Finds the open receiver. Nice job by Randall Cunningham. That's what this offense needs. It needs, it needs a quarterback that, that's going to be able to have the patience to find them, to find the open guys, because things aren't always going to go their way. Some pretty special numbers. You'll see numbers that high percentage in this West Coast offense. Again, both times they got down, they couldn't punch it into the end zone. They came away with two field goals. But he has been sharp in running. He's done an excellent job running the offense and moving the offense down into scoring position. Now they got to punch it into the end zone. Less than a minute to play here in the first half. Still a long way to go for the Eagles. Cunningham under pressure from Curry. He's going to run. Still on his feet. Pass Nickerson. Big game. And he's close to midfield. Broke a couple of tackles. Finally brought down by Lonnie Martz after a 20-yard pickup. <laughs> Box still moving. That's what Randall Cunningham does better than anybody else in the National Football League. And it's not just of recent. It's been as long as he's been in the league. He just steps up to the pocket, doesn't see anybody, pulls the ball down and takes off upfield with it. We talked to John Gruden about it. Hey, are you worried about him scrambling around too much? Are you worried about him taking off? He said, no way. That's just another added dimension to the offense. He didn't have that luxury in Brett up in the Green Bay with Brett Favre. Brett Favre would drop back. He couldn't scramble that quick. Well, no one from the quarterback position has run for more. But the key is him making decisions on when to do it. Ray Rhodes feels that he's starting to get the feel of it. So we stop the clock by throwing it down second and ten. Ball at their own 49. Quick drop. Complete Jimmy Johnson the tight end, but they only gain a yard. Nice the play will by move. Tony Stargell came up and they just they cut Tony Stargell at the end of training camp. Then they bring him back onto the squad. And he's out there and he comes up and keeps them one yard gain. So the Eagles call a timeout. That's their last one. Cunningham will have 19 seconds. The ball right at midfield. Three-time Pro Bowler Randall Cunningham. Last one was in 1990, though. Ray Rhodes hoping that he can get back to that form. No, it was interesting on that on that drive. They know they had they got the ball and it was under two minutes because they had the two-minute warning. They came out with regular personnel. They didn't come out with four wides or anything. They came out with their regular personnel. And the West Coast offense does this. They do it in short yardage. They do it on goal line. You don't see much substituting. They go with what they have. They think that it is a complete package, and they can do everything out of the personnel they have on the field. So Gary Anderson perhaps to get a try before the half ends. He had a 50-yarder last year. So can still do it despite being 36 years old. Third down and nine. All at midfield. Cunningham has time. Fires downfield. Throws it out of bounds intended for Williams. And a fourth down coming up. Had plenty of time on that read. Just missed through it a little bit. You're going to have that. He's throwing the ball this many times in a game. It's his first real bad throw of the game I've seen, Mike. He's been very patient. Again, he's run a couple of times as Hutton comes on to punt, but he's made the sound decisions on when to and when to wait the extra seconds to throw the football. Hutton, the lefty, with a beautiful punt his first time up. Bobby Joe Edmonds, who's had a terrific first half in his return to the NFL. He'll be back. Good pressure again. Kick from Hutton. Edmonds going to let it bounce and it go into the end zone. So with a couple of seconds left here of the first half, we'll have one more play as Cunningham has to be pleased with his first half performance. 
Tampa will come out for the final play of the first half. Plus, of course, a penalty. Trent Dilfer started off strong, meanwhile, for Tampa Bay. Threw that 64-yard strike to Copeland. Then he got his bell rung, had to sit out of play. And it's been a little inconsistent. Much to do because Eric Ritt took a while to get started. But overall, not a bad half for Dilfer. Not a bad, not a bad half for either quarterback. I think uh, the, the coaches have to be very pleased with both quarterbacks what they've done so far in opening day. You have to be real excited about Trent Dilford. You know, he's just a young guy. This is his first opening day start. And he's going to take a knee here. They're happy with their 7-6 lead. At the and end that, that time. excuse me, Billy, I will end the first half here in Philadelphia. Dilford's touchdown pass gives Tampa Bay a 7-6 lead. We'll continue with the Dockers halftime after this message from your local station. Halftime from Veteran Stadium in Philadelphia. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers lead the Eagles 7-6. Good crowd on hand on opening day for the NFL. Hi again, everyone. Mike Green along with Bill Moss. Early start from both teams. They got on the board early, including Randall Cunningham. First drive, they bring the ball down. Didn't get into the end zone, but they scored on a field goal. Cunningham looks pretty comfortable in this new West Coast offense that Ray Rhodes has brought in. Randall Cunningham's doing an excellent job running the offense. He's running the West Coast offense, also adding a little bit of crazy Randall to the offense. You see him scrambling around all over the place, picking up those extra yards. When things don't go right, he's doing great under pressure. He's getting inside the 20, though, and they're bogging down. They can't seem to get it into the end zone. That's going to be a problem for him that they need to correct in the second half. So far, though, he's made a good job in terms of deciding when to run with the football and when to try and find one of the receivers. He has been sacked four times, so he's done it under adverse conditions. He has. Tampa Bay's applying a great pass rush. It's, it's surprising to me to see how great they're rushing against them. The problem is that the Philadelphia offensive line isn't gelling quite as well as they should as a unit right yet due to all the position switches. Now, Randall, Randall is doing a great job of finding his receivers, and when he doesn't have his receiver, he pulls the ball down and takes off. Meanwhile, Trent Dilfer of Tampa Bay, again, much is on his shoulders. If they want to snap the losing streak of 12 straight years, of double-digit losses, he's got to come through. And like a typical guy who's a young quarterback, he's had some good moments and he's had some bad moments. Well, you're going to experience that with a young quarterback. And you just have to be patient and have to deal with it, okay? He's going to have some great plays. And you saw, again, he ran around. He ran around here. Let me see. Here he is. Right there, okay? There's a guy. He does an excellent job of finding his receivers. He sets up in the pocket well. He's got good protection. And, he, and he's using his receivers. Horace Copeland has been a great partner of his throughout the first half. Copeland with three receptions, including this 64-yard scoring strike. And Copeland able to get it into the end zone. That made it 7-3. Tampa Bay went up. Philadelphia came back, scored another field goal to make it 7-6. Gary Anderson with a couple. But Dilfer also had to sit down for a play. That's right. Mike Mamula, the rookie uh, pass rushing specialist, puts a hit on him right here. And it's not the hit that it's that when his helmet smacks the turf right there, you see it. He rung his bell a little bit, and when he came back in in the second half, in the second quarter, he was a little shook up. Didn't quite do the things as well as he did in the first quarter. Always a concern with concussions and people talking about how you know, the quarterbacks have to suffer. They've instituted some rules to make it a little bit easier on the quarterbacks. Mamula with a clean hit, though, on that particular play. It was a, it was a clean hit. It was a great effort, too. And he's hit the first half, great first half against Paul Gruber, one of the finest offensive tackles in the league. This young guy is off to a good start. See, the Eagles had the football for a long time. They also had a number of penalties, as you see our first half stats. Tampa Bay did a good job at times early on, but then struggled a bit. And Philadelphia as Randall Cunningham with a strong first half with 110 yards. Michael Eusted will kick it off to start quarter number three. Charlie Garner to your left. Kelvin Martin on the right. Martin's had a couple of nice returns this afternoon. Now we might see Garner a little bit more in the backfield as Ricky Waters, although he's done a good job catching the football, he's been stopped a bit running. So Eustace starts off the third quarter. Kelvin Martin in his own end zone is going to bring it out. Martin gets one block and is brought down at about the 16-yard line. Darnell Stevens on the stop. Water ask you about entertainment weekly saying that if you're sick of Seinfeld switch over to New York undercover TV's funkiest cop show while well, the other networks are still showing reruns Fox's brand new action-packed episode
Nick News delivers the news that kids care about because Nick News covers the stories that make a difference in kids' lives.